My name is Gail Dawson and I'm speaking today about my father, George Frederick Dawson, who recently chose a medically assisted death and he asked me to speak um, about it publicly because he felt it wasn't something that was well known and there was a lot of uh, misinformation or lack of information about it. My father was had just celebrated his 89th birthday and he had been for a number of years saying that he would choose a medically assisted death. He was quite disabled by spinal stenosis, could no longer walk, he was eating through a peg tube, he could no longer enjoy the things he'd done and his health was continuing to deteriorate and he always said that he would never live a life of disability um, or great dependency in a nursing home and that he would choose a medically assisted death however needed to do that um, when the time came. He was a pretty amazing guy. He was quite uh, quiet. He was an introverted man so he didn't talk a lot but when he did he had usually a joke. He used to like to tease. Um, when we were kids he told us there were sky hooks holding things up and we believed him. And he told my brother the hot and cold water came from hot and cold running streams in the woods. Um, so he was always a joker, but in a quiet way. And he loved being outside. He lived on that property for 47 years and landscaped it all himself. And in the winter, he did woodworking in his workshop, woodworking and carpentry. Um, and family was everything to him. Family was big. And the idea of not being a burden on anybody seemed to be... Uh... A big thing. I mean, you talked about how even when he started to get physically, I mean, I won't say frail, but a bit more immobile, okay. he just fought his way up stairs and, and didn't want ramps and no railings, no ramps, no walkers, <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah, no renovation of the house. Um, he fought it and fought it and fought it until he couldn't fight it anymore. What what, are, what were some of the advantages? And we talked about them, but of being able to plan your death in advance. It was very beautiful, as much, I guess, as you can say, death is, can be beautiful. He um, had known for some time he was going to do that. In the last couple of weeks of his life, his, his health had deteriorated even more. And he called the MAID program and said, I'm ready. Uh, can you please give me a date next week, if possible? And then he called the whole family, and he called his close friends, and he had visits or phone calls with everybody, lots of remembrances and um, just lots of nice chats with people. And he had a long meeting with my brother to talk about the finances and how he ought to manage the investments. And he gave us all our instructions and mine was to contact the media and make sure people knew about MAID. And so when the time for his death came, we were all around him. We were 10 in the family with him. And his last words were to us were, I love you all. And uh, the process itself took three minutes from start to finish. The doctor was amazing. The nurses were amazing. Uh, it was very peaceful. We didn't in the end even know that he was gone until they told us. We were still chatting um, around him. And so I think if you can have a, a lovely, peaceful death, he had that. And I think that's what he would want people to know.